Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm sure my video will be quickly demonetized because we're talking about the new orgasm collection from NARS. Just like last summer, NARS has released some new limited edition products that are inspired by their cult favorite orgasm blush. The collection is currently available now. I will link it below. You can find it at Sephora. I didn't see it popping up on Macy's yet, but it is also available from the NARS website and NARS boutiques. There are two lip products and two cheek products in this release. I have three of the four, so I will be showing you swatches and demos of the three products that I have in front of me here, but I'm gonna give you all the product info. The one item that I don't have my hands on is the full vinyl lip lacquer, so I'll just show you a picture on the screen here. It has the same pretty metallic pink packaging that the lip balm in this collection has. The lip lacquer is in the shade Orgasm, obviously. It's retail priced at 26 US dollars, and it contains 0.17 ounces or 5.5 milliliters. On the Sephora site, it's described as a peachy pink with golden shimmer, and it looks super, super glossy. The other lip product in this collection is the Afterglow Lip Balm. This is what I'm wearing on my lips now. This one is priced at $28 and it contains 0.1 ounces or three grams of product. It has this really, really pretty baby pink metallic packaging. This looks like metal, but it feels like plastic. It does have some heft to it. It doesn't feel like a cheapy plastic casing, but it's not super duper heavy like it would be if it was solid metal. Now for the cheek products in this collection. Of course, we have a specially packaged orgasm blush. This has the NARS logo on the front in the pink metallic lettering. And then you'll also see inside that it has NARS printed in the actual powder. The limited edition orgasm blush is retail priced at $39. And you're probably thinking, Whoa, $39 is a lot for this blush. Their regular blushes are priced at $30. And you may be thinking that $9 is an insane markup for a limited edition release. But if you look at this blush compared to one of their regular blushes, this limited edition orgasm blush is huge compared to the standard size blush. So this special release one is $39, but it's way, way more product in here. This one is 0.28 ounces or eight grams of product. The regular size blushes are 0.16 ounces or 4.8 grams of product. So this is almost twice the size, not quite double for only $9 more. So this is a really, really great value. Plus you get this pretty packaging. I don't know about you, but I love a good pretty packaging. If you haven't tried this and you're a makeup junkie or you've been wanting to try this cult classic NARS Orgasm Blush, this is a great way to do it because you're getting excellent value for your dollar with this one. The last product is actually my favorite from the collection. This is the Illuminating Loose Powder. This powder retails for $28 and it contains 0.09 ounces or 2.5 grams of product. So it has that same metallic pink lettering and the lid is that soft touch matte black that we're used to with typical NARS packaging. The lid screws off and then there's a sifter inside so it makes this pretty easy to use. It still can be a little bit messy if you're not careful, but I'm so, so glad there's a sifter on this packaging. I'm gonna show you a quick demo of me applying the products that I have here to my face and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. Before we get into the demo, I just wanted to show you some live swatches of these products on my arm. So here's the Afterglow Lip Balm. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Classic Orgasm Blush. This is a very buildable product. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with one swatch and then a second pass over that same swatch. You start to see the golden sheen coming out more the more you build up this blush. And last but definitely not least, a swatch of the Illuminating Loose Powder. Just look at that gold sheen. These products are so beautiful together. I am in love with this loose powder. Now let's jump into the demo. I'm gonna show you all these products in action on my face. First, I'm just using my all-time favorite blush brush. It's actually a powder brush from an Eco Tools travel set. 
I'm using that little mini brush to apply the orgasm blush to my cheeks. Next, I'm gonna take a fan brush and dip into this illuminating loose powder. And I'm gonna build that up on top of my blush as sort of a shimmery highlight meets blush topper. This powder is pretty intense, so I'm just taking the tiniest bit on this fan brush and you can see it is super bright even with the smallest amount applied. Lastly, I'm going to put some of the Afterglow Lip Balm, you guessed it, on my lips. This is pretty easy, it's a no-brainer. It's just a comfy lip balm with a little bit of sheen. And the finished look is simple, it's very summertime, fresh, flush, dewy, all the things that I love. Overall, I'm really happy with all of these products and how they worked together. I think they look beautiful on the skin. They're very fresh, very easy, perfect for summer. Fresh and easy is basically my entire makeup aesthetic, so I love these products. I think the blush is a great investment if you don't already own this shade. It's a really good value. If you already have the Orgasm blush, it's nothing different. It's the exact same blush, it's just in a value size with special packaging. The lip balm is really pretty, it's really comfortable. This would be an easy throw in the purse, just slap it on. Even if you're not wearing makeup, you could wear this because it's very sheer. It just has a tiny bit of pink tint, a tiny bit of shimmer to it. But overall, this is basically a standard lip balm. I will definitely use this. I do enjoy it. I don't know if it's worth the price tag. At the end of the day, it's a lip balm. The real star of the show for me is the Illuminating Loose Powder. This is so beautiful. I can see this working on a ton of skin tones. If you have medium or deep skin, this would be beautiful worn as a highlighter. I used it more of a like top of the cheek blush topper because it is a little bit too deep for me to full face highlight. Nonetheless, I think this is gorgeous. I would put this on my eyes, on my cheeks, on my elbows. I just, I think this is so, so pretty. So this is my favorite thing from the collection. If you get nothing else, check this out. These are limited edition, so they won't last forever. I want to know what you think about this collection. Does it have you intrigued? Leave a comment and let us know if any of these items are on your wish list. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It, it, uh, 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 dang it. <laughs> what? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Full vinyl lip lacquer. Full vinyl lip lacquer. Full vinyl lip lacquer. Full vinyl lip lacquer. Wow, that was impressive. And na 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 ba 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 ba. <laughs> the Nars. You know it's Nars. This is Nars video. I don't have to say it's Nars. You know. There's gonna be more bloopers than actual video for this video. This regular br brushes. It's not a brush. It's a blush. <sighs> this blush. Dang it. That glow do. What?